Here is an ACT math question, so go ahead, pause the video, and try this one yourself. Okay, so we're going to highlight the answer on this screen here, and now let's talk about how to tackle this. So as the silly headline or the silly title to this video suggests, there's a little trick, a little shortcut you can use here to help when you're dealing with percent change. Now, the first thing I want to point out is what you shouldn't do, the trap that they're trying to get you to do on this type of question. So we have a DVD player with a list price of $100. It's marked down by 30%. And then if John gets an employee discount of 20% off the sale price, how much does John pay for the DVD player? So the trap has to say, well, starts off at 100 bucks. It goes down by 30%. So that would be, you know, that would take you from $100 to $70. And then it goes down by an additional 20%. So that's another $20 off. So we'll subtract another 20% off. That would be $50. And that would be choice D. Now, unfortunately, that is not correct because when you take the 20% off, it's only 20% off the sale price. So it must be 20% off of 70, not 20% off of 100. And in addition to a 30% off of 100, you got to do it in the right order. So what's the trick? So the trick with percent change, you could, so for example, when you're dealing with 100, it's easy to do this in your head, but essentially what we're doing to get uh, from 100 to 70 is you're taking 100, you find 30% of 100, and 30% of 100 is 30, and then you subtract that from 100 to get 70, right? It's essentially a two-step process. But the weird trick is to make it a one-step process, and this is how it works. 4% decrease, which essentially we're doing in this case, you're going to multiply your starting price by 1 minus the percent over 100. Essentially, this is just the percent as a decimal. So what this allows you to do is do it in one step. So again, you could do this in your head with 100. If the number were harder, it would be more challenging to do this in your head. But let's just do it the long way anyway, right? So we're going to multiply our 100 times 1 minus, now it's 30%, so it's going to be 30 over 100, which is 0.3. This is the same thing as 100 times 0.7, which is 70, which of course is what we got here. But now we got to subtract 20% off of 70. So now we're going to do 70 times. Now it's a 20% decrease again, so we're going to use our percent decrease formula. So it's going to be 1 minus 20 over 100, or 1 minus 0.2. And this is going to get you, when you do this, 70 times 0.8. And this ends up being 56 bucks which is, as we saw earlier, choice C. So that's your little trick. Instead of doing your percent decreases, and as we'll see in a second, your percent increase in two steps, you can do it in one. It saves you time, it's more efficient, and it helps you on questions like this to avoid mistakes. So if that's percent decrease, what is percent increase? Well, it's very similar, except you're in this case, you're going to multiply by one plus the percent over 100. So one plus, again, the percent is a decimal. So this is pretty useful when you're figuring out tax. So let's say you live in a state in the United States that adds, let's say, 8% sales tax onto every item that you purchase. And let's say you're buying a, a movie and that's 1999. So how much is it going to be after tax? Well, again, you could do it the long way, which is take 1999, multiply by 8% by 0.08. That will give you the amount of tax you'd have to pay, and then take that tax and add it on to 1999. And it's not hard. It's just a two-step process. Instead, let's do it with our new method. So we're going to multiply this by 1 plus 8% as a decimal is 0.08. So this is 1999 times 1.08. And let me bring out my calculator here because this, it's not too easy to do in our heads. So we're going to do 1999 times 1.08. And it's going to give us 21.5892, which will round up to $21.59. So there's your one weird trick. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.